I'll know. They're back. It's another Creaky Gamers Battle Report. Warhammer, the old roll. Let's go roll some dice. Okay, an old world tournament report. But before we head off, let's have a look at the uh, Tomb Kings. 2,000 points. There are some restrictions where you couldn't spend more than 700 points on characters and so on. So no uh, dragon and um, etc. So that is Kifatep the Undying with his Ogre Blade and Talisman of Protection. There's my Hierophant. She's a level four with the Cloak of Dunes. Um, and there's a Mortuary Priest with the Ruby Ring of Ruin level two uh then i've got a unit of 24 grave guard with the war banner uh 10 skelly archers six uh skeleton horse archers and another six skeleton horse archers two tomb scorpions uh two units of three uh chariots there's the other ones there a uh, unit of four yusharpti with the great weapons uh, the Bone Giant, or Necrolith Colossus, and a Necro Sphinx. So that is it. 2,000 points. So the um, I've tried these uh, Graveguard in 5x5 five five formation, but I've gone a bit wider now. So 8 wide. Um, then the King will go in there. That's the only place for him. Um, I like using the Skelly Horse Archers. I've got two units of six. Um, and just the naked chariots. So we'll see how it goes. Um, so it's only a two game um, friendly tournament, no prizes for winning or anything. We'll just uh, see how it goes. Um, let's get on with the battle report then. Okay, so it's uh, we're facing orcs and goblins, and it's the new troll horde. Um, there's some river trolls out on his left flank. Big unit of orcs with the battle standard and a level four shaman there. Uh, some more uh, trolls, river trolls. Some pesky little spider riders. These guys are pretty good. They've inspired me to get some of my own, actually. Uh, there's the some mercenary ogres and the giant and the chariot. In the middle as well, and then way out on his right flank, he's got some boar boys with the war boss in there as well. So that's the orc and goblin deployment. I put a scorpion out here. Maybe I can assassinate his uh, general, the tomb guard, horse archers, necrosphinx, and the hierophant hiding behind the building. Some chariots, the bone giant, you sharp in the middle with another scorpion. Uh, horse archers and archers and I've got my level two out on the right flank there and uh, some chariots so that's the situation on deployment uh, the orcs won the roll off and they've just shuffled forward everywhere not much happens on turn one except those pesky spider riders uh, there's the ogres moving up yeah so the spider riders uh, did a cheeky wound to my tomb scorpion I thought his toughness would be okay, but that poison attack, poison is pretty good uh, in this edition uh, with their shooting attacks. Um, and then the Tomb King's turn one. Um, we just want to get to grips with those spider riders, but they're a little bit too far away for a charge. Um, we don't want to get swamped with a double charge from the giant. There's those pesky spider riders. The orcs up the flank there. So, and I don't want to go charging into those trolls with my chariots. So we do a little bit of shooting, but not much. Okay, so I'm going to try and keep it in sequence. There's my um, scorpion with his wound on his uh, tail there. He wants to get to grips with those spider riders. It's the... Um, the Orc and Goblin turn two. He's got some mitigation there for those trolls with their stupidity. So he manages that pretty well. And there they are, those uh, spider riders. They put a second wound on my scorpion. So the scorpion's nearly dead. They've only got three wounds. 
Um, so I'm, it's going to force his hand. In my turn, I'm going to have to charge something with the scorpion before he gets uh, poisoned to death. Uh, you think scorpions be immune to poison, wouldn't you? On this flank, he's just thrown down the gauntlet with the trolls, and I don't want to go in there with my chariots. So that's the situation after turn two. Okay, so a brief summary of uh, turn two for the Tomb Kings. Um, you can notice that uh, scorpion there is dead. I did a one wound on those trolls from shooting. My chariots are trying to get out of there, get away. I did miscast with my level two, I think. That's why he's got a wound on him. Uh, my horse archers are trying to sneak through. They did a couple of wounds to the uh, spider riders. Then they're trying to sneak through the lines. Um, the scorpion charged the giant. The giant killed the scorpion and um, then overran. And this scorpion charged the boar boys and managed to kill a couple. Lost combat. He's bounced back a little bit. And now, um, so there's a couple of spider riders die. They passed their panic test. Um, so we're just going to move into turn three. Uh, that's the situation. So um, he's just lining up some charges ready for turn three now. So I'm just, I'm trying to keep the turn order incorrect as I remember it. So it's definitely turn three now. So we'll do the orcs turn three um, and see what charges or impetuosity they fail. Right, so they're going to um, follow up and charge that scorpion, I guess. Um, I wasn't sure. I'm just going to have to wait and see what happens there. And then the spider riders failed their impetuous test. So they're going to have to charge the flank of the bone giant while his giant goes into the bone giant as well. So a bit of giant action there. Uh, my horse archers sneaking through the lines. They did a couple of wounds. We just couldn't get rid of those spider riders. Um, I think he tries to charge with the chariot, but he doesn't quite make it, or maybe he's just out of range. Um, so the ball boys are sort of getting isolated out on that flank, but um, I'm losing units in the middle. Um, so that's the, the scorpion. This will be a telling combat because I want that scorpion to either hold or something to stop him turning to face me. Um, and then there's the giant and the spider riders, um, and that's his other units so I'm getting trying to get keep away from these trolls my level two is in a bit of trouble and so here his giant does kill my giant and then my giant falls over and kills the spider riders and he overruns into the Yushabti so we'll have giant into the Yushabti coming up yeah so I hope we got that right so the they killed the scorpion um, they failed their test to not overrun so they pursued or overran off the table. So now they're kind of stuck because they're going to have to come back on the table. And the Tomb Guard and the Necrosphinx will be waiting for them. So we got that right. Uh, here the giant uh, killed the giant, killed my bone giant. My bone giant then fell over and squashed the spider riders. Um, so we have giant versus you Sharpty. And here my level 2 is in trouble my chariots have bugged out of there trying to get away because they didn't want to take the trolls on head on yeah so we'll have the giant versus the yushabti there um i cast the column of crystal i think it is there that big uh, pie plate to stop the chariot coming in and helping and the horse archers are being annoying i don't know how the yushabti are going to go against the giant just depends on what the giant decides to do um, and then we're just waiting for the ball boys to come back on the table there. So that's pretty much the end of turn three. All right, so turn four. We'll see what happens here. So my archers, they just shuffled forward because he cast a stupidity spell on them. So they just uh, shuffled forward. My level 2 gets out of the charge arcs there, hides behind the building, but those archers won't last long. Um, the Column of Crystal saves the chariot from coming in, and um, we just waited there for the ball boys to come back on the table, so the Tomb Guard and the Necrosphinx are ready to pounce there. So I don't think the ball boys will survive that. 
Um, so that's the situation. The giant um, knocked over one of the Yusharpti. The Yusharpti got a couple of wounds. And then they, in turn, they left the giant with one wound remaining. And my horse archers are just you know, galloping around, shooting, but not doing any damage at all. Um, yeah, so those skeletons got flanked and charged by the orcs. So I just take those guys off. Uh, my level two is just hiding behind the building there, trying to keep out of charge arcs. And then he's still got a strong centre here, the ogres and the trolls, and the giant and the is fighting the Yusharpti. So we'll see what happens between the giant, see if he can finish them off, and the chariot's just going to turn and face the threat that's going to come from over here after the uh, boar boys are about to get uh, trounced, I think. And the chariots are there as well. So then the giant um, gets killed by the Yusharpti and then he falls over and finishes off the Yusharpti. So mutual destruction. I think there was only like two Yusharpti left. The giant fell on them and killed them. And that's the end of the Boar Boys. So the Boar Boys were there. Um, we killed them and then we turn around. So into turn five. So we're getting there. Turn five and... Um, yeah, that was the end of the Boar Boys, and the Chariot now is uh, tempted to go into the... Um, I think he might fail his impetuous test or something. Anyway, he decides to charge into the Tomb Guard. Uh, there's nothing left there for the Orcs and the Trolls there to fight. They've killed my Archers, so they're turning their attention to the centre. Uh, the Horse Archers galloping along beside them. And so that's the situation. I still have a strong left flank there, but my center has, has collapsed. I've lost my Bone Giant, or the Colossus. I've lost the Yusharpti, and I've lost my Archers. So the Orcs are turning their attention towards the center. And in goes the Chariot. Oh, double six for the charge. He's in there anyway. So um, he charged into the Tomb Guard, so we'll see. He's got impact hits and everything. He might be able to hold them back. We'll see what happens there. But uh, I'd have plenty of backup there to try and finish off the chariot there. Um, and then he cast Stupidity on my chariots. So I cast um, the Illusion spell to stop those guys charging. And my horse archers in this game haven't done much. They've just been galloping around, and they've done a couple of wounds here and there, but... The chariot breaks, runs, and so we're going into turn six, the final turn. So I hope you've been able to follow along with the battle report so far. Um, so he cast stupidity on my chariots. That's why they've uh, moved into contact with the building there which allows the ogres, I have shot a couple of them, and the ogres are just going to charge them in the flank. These trolls and the orcs are marching towards the centre, but they're going to be too late. They've just um, killed the archers, that was about all. Um, those trolls went stupid in the middle there, um, and we pursued and overran, killed the chariot, so the tomb guard are ready to pounce. And the ogres are going to go into the flank of the chariots. And then in our turn six, the Tomb Kings. Uh, there's only one chariot left in that unit. So he killed two. Uh, and then in turn six, on the Tomb Kings turn six, he failed to finish off that last chariot. Uh, the Tomb Guard charged after the trolls. And the trolls fled and they ran them down. So it was the same result anyway. The Hierophant's just standing about where the trolls sort of ran through. My horse archers managed to finally kill one of the river trolls there, but um, that's the end of the battle. So um, I lost the bone giant, some archers, a couple of chariots, and the Yusharpti, uh, and the orcs have lost a fair bit now, and the general as well. So we tally it up. I'll have to find my uh, sheet here. Hang on a second. I'll go and find it. I'll tell you what the... The final result was. So the uh, the orcs lost 1140 and the Tomb Kings lost 546. So it was about a 594 point victory to the Tomb Kings. Not that we cared about results this day. I think it was just random uh, draw anyway. 
But that's the end of the battle, so hopefully that was coherent enough for you to be able to understand what happened and what went on. Um, my things to remember from this game was uh, don't place your level 2 wizard within dispelling range of their level 4 because you won't get any spells off. So I probably should have put the level 2 on the other on the left flank, well out of range of the level 4. Um, so that didn't help because he, I don't think he ever got his ruby ring of ruin off and his spells were never cast because he just kept being dispelled. Uh, what else? Uh, be aware of those little spiders with their poison shooting. They were pretty good. I'm going to get some of them for myself. Uh, other than that, um, the pursuit off the table, those uh, orcs, the um, boar boys, failing their restrain roll and pursuing off the table means I was able to just sit there and move over and um, with some reserve move for the... Um, the reserve move spell was pretty good. The Hierophant uh, cast that so the Necro Sphinx could move up and then move up again and pivot uh, nicely without having to march. So he's in a good position. So that was handy. I like that reserve move spell. Um, the Horse Archers survived, uh, but they eventually, I think they killed a couple of Ogres, maybe a one Ogre and one Troll, but that was about it. And they were just there. They could have, I could have used them more to deflect charges and things maybe. But uh, anyway, a narrow victory to the Tomb Kings. So let's see what happens in uh, round two. Well, I hope you enjoyed this battle report from those great tacticians, the Creaky Gammas. Thanks for watching another Creaky Gammas production. We hope it wasn't too bad.